Meet the fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster. This common kitchen pest is actually a powerful research tool for studying human health and disease. How can we learn more about humans by studying a fly? Well, it turns out that fruit flies and humans have a lot in common. About 60% of the genes in fruit flies are also found in humans, and two-thirds of genes involved in human cancers have counterparts in fruit flies. These similarities allow researchers to use fruit flies for experiments that would be impossible, unethical, or cost-prohibitive in people or other complex organisms. For example, researchers at the University of Michigan Life Sciences Institute are using fruit flies to better understand Down syndrome and to search for potential treatments. In Down syndrome, high levels of a protein called DSCAM leads to an overgrowth in the brain neurons, causing faulty connections. Researchers can recreate the same problem in flies by manipulating their genes. Bing Yi, a faculty member at the Life Sciences Institute, identified an existing cancer drug that could block the overgrowth of neurons in flies. Now further research is being done to see if this might be a safe, effective strategy for humans. And flies aren't the only model organisms advancing our understanding of human health. The same yeast that creates delicious bread and beer also holds clues about the function and malfunction of human cell processes. Many human conditions, ranging from neurodegeneration to cancer, result from the disruption of basic cell processes. Scientists can use yeast to manipulate genes and learn more about these fundamental aspects of biology. In Lois Weissman's lab at the Life Sciences Institute, researchers use yeast to work out how organelles within each cell get moved to the right location at precisely the right time. This work has the potential to shed new light on neurological disorders and other diseases. Understanding how the system is supposed to work is critical for understanding what happens when things go wrong. Yeast research earned Nobel Prizes in 2001, 2013, and 2016. And even millimeter-long transparent worms called C. elegans can help us understand more about how our bodies function and respond to disease. Despite its small nervous system, C. elegans can perform many behaviors that correspond to complex human behaviors. That's one reason why Life Sciences Institute faculty member Sean Zhu uses it to study the biology of our senses. For example, his lab showed that even though these tiny worms don't have eyes, they still respond to flashes of light. The researchers also discovered a new light receptor in the worms that's 50 times more efficient than the rhodopsin in the human eye. This new receptor could be used to help develop new research tools or even better sunscreen. So scientists don't study flies or yeast or roundworms to learn about these organisms but to better understand the basic biological processes that shape health and disease.